Welcome to our video tutorial on applying for FAFSA. The first step is to click Start a new FAFSA. On this page, you will need to enter your first name, last name, social security number, and date of birth. Then you may click Next. You can click Start 2012-2013 FAFSA or apply for a PIN. The PIN is used to sign your FAFSA electronically at the end. Your parent will also need a PIN if you are a dependent student. For now, we will click Start 2012-2013 FAFSA. On this page, you will need to create a password for your FAFSA. Then you can click Next. Here, you can explore links with information of what it will take to complete your FAFSA application. Note, if you press back or forward on your browser, you will lose information. So utilize the previous or next buttons at the bottom of your FAFSA. After you are done reviewing, click Next. Go. On this page, you will enter basic information about yourself. Make sure all the information is filled in correctly and you leave no blanks. If you have trouble on any of these pages, you can click in the text box you are confused about and on the right, there will be a help and hints box that explains what each is asking for. Then click next. Note, you can always click save at the bottom of the page if you wish to finish your FAFSA later. This page is to see if you are eligible for financial aid. First question is, are you a U.S. citizen? Note, you must have at least a green card to qualify for financial aid. Second question is, are you registered with Selective Service? Unless you are a female, you need to register for Selective Service to qualify for financial aid. If you are 26 years of age or older, please go to sss.gov. If you click no, they will ask if you want to be automatically registered you if you are interested in being considered for work study. Work study is a program where they give you a certain amount of money and you can work for it on campus. If you want to be considered for this, click yes. Then you can click next. On this page, you will need to enter information on the high school that you attended. After entering your information, click Confirm and select your high school. Then you can click Next. Next, we are selecting what school you will be applying to your FAFSA to. Next, we are selecting what school you will be applying your FAFSA to. KCC School Cold is 001613. Otherwise, you can utilize the search. You can also type in multiple school codes if you are applying to more than one school. After your school pops up under search results, select it and then click add. Then you can click next. After that, it will ask you what your housing plans are. This is very important because you may or may not be awarded other grants based on this question. Note, you can only receive financial aid from your home institution. Then you can click Next. This page is determining if you are independent or dependent. This is very important. Make sure that if you click Yes on any of these questions, you need to be prepared to follow up with evidence. Then you can click Next. This is asking whether or not you will provide parental information. If you are dependent, you will need to submit parental information. 
If you are independent, you may choose not to fill out parental information. Then click Next. Now they are asking for parental information. This is all basic information that you should go over with your parents. When you choose household size, include yourself and anyone receiving more than half of their support from your parents. After you complete this page, click Next. For this portion, it's asking if your parent has completed their taxes. Then it will ask if and when they filed. If your answer is none of the above, you will be asked to link your taxes. This is highly recommended and will reduce paperwork. If you don't, you may be asked later by your school to produce tax return transcripts. If you choose to link, you will need your parent to create a PIN if they haven't already done so and enter it there. Then click Link Taxes. For more step-by-step -step instructions on how to link your FAFSA to the IRS website, see our Data Retrieval Tool tutorial. Then click Next. Note, if you click Will File for the next portion, you can go based on last year's tax information. Next, your parent will need to select what tax form they used and other income information. If you get stuck and don't know where to find the information, click on the box where you would provide the information and look at the Help and Hints box located on the right. After you complete this, click Next. This is more financial information that should be located on your tax form. After you complete this, click Next. Next is your tax information. It's the same as your parents' information and you can choose to link your tax return or not. Select one and click Next. If you do not know this information, it will be located on your tax return. Don't forget to utilize the Help and Hints box on the right if you get lost. After completing this, click Next. Just like before, it is asking you for more information about your tax return. After completing this, click Next. This page, it will ask if you are a preparer. A preparer is someone you pay to fill out your FAFSA for you. You are most likely not, so click No. Now you sign your FAFSA. I would recommend signing it electronically with your PIN as it's much faster. If you didn't create one, you can create one here. Your parent will also need to sign and submit as well. Also, you will need to check the box to accept the terms and conditions, and after that, hit Accept and you're done. After clicking Submit, it will give you a rough estimate of what you might qualify for. Please contact your school in two weeks or check your MyUH portal under the Financial Aid tab for updates on any other requirements.